Hi there, good morning. Today's Wednesday. I am uh, getting ready for work and it's been really warm, well, warm for us lately. It's been in the 70s, <laughs> mid to upper 70s, which is like a big deal, kind of, for some people in Santa Barbara, that's kind of a little warm. Anyway, so I'm wearing a dress today and I thought I'd share it with you. I haven't worn this in, I want to say like two years or so. It's a cute dress from Anthropology. Let me switch you around there. Um, I don't recall the brand, but it's really nice. It has like these pretty colors, like yellow and orange and blue, and then it kind of has this like grassy thing going on. Um, the collar area is a little bit unusual, and sometimes it can show a little bit of bra strap, so I'll usually wear a cardigan to cover that up. And um, it kind of has this waist that goes around here and has a little button, which is cute. And then it's all like, I think you'd say pleated at the bottom. Um, so it, it has a nice movement to it. And it's definitely very uh, thin. The material is quite thin. So it's good for those warm days when you're like, oh, it's too hot. I don't want to wear pants to work. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's the front. I'll show you the side. Good thing is my stomach doesn't stick out too much. Not too much. And then the back, it kind of has a deep V-cut thing going on. So, um, yeah, I'll definitely bring a cardigan with me into work. So, um, yeah, it's very cute. It's a little bit loose up here, honestly, in the chest. I find it, like, kind of loosey-goosey. Um, kind of an unusual fit up top. Anyways, um, it should be nice and an easy dress to wear. Um, I know that my office, it's nice that I have my own office. And I have a window and an ocean view and all, but it just gets too warm for me in there because the sun beats in in the morning and it just, it just heats up and I end up all sweaty and like feeling yucky. Okay. Anyways, well, um, I need to finish getting ready for work. So I hope you enjoyed a little sneak peek of my, little peek of my dress. All right. Okay. Hi, good morning. Uh, today is Friday, July 3rd. I feel like today's Saturday because I have the day off work. So yesterday was Thursday and I kept thinking it was Friday. I was like, woohoo, it's Friday night. <laughs> and we actually had a good surprise at work. The director came by and he told everyone that we could leave early. So I ended up leaving a little bit before 4, which was such a nice surprise, such a nice treat. Um, especially when a lot of other people on campus had already left by then. <laughs> and I just wanted to go home. Anyways, <clears throat> yeah, so actually yesterday I went um, and did the Starbucks order and go thing on the way home, which was really neat with my phone. Anyway, so right now um, I'm packing up my apartment. I've got like my two things of laundry because now I take laundry to my mom's house. You know, when I was in college, I never did that. When I rented a room in a house that had a laundry machine. I didn't do it, but ever since I um, had my own apartment, since I moved into that old studio, and I realized how expensive everything is when you're the only person paying for everything. You pay for electricity, for rent, for everything. Um, <clears throat> I've started taking laundry home so I can save a little bit of money. Um, so that's why I take the laundry home with me. And Stitch is coming with me too. Um, I don't think he's aware of it yet, although I did bring out his little cat carrier thing and he looked at it and he was like nope and ran out of that room so <laughs> he doesn't like being stuck in the carrier but he usually does fine on the drive he just kind of sleeps and nods off and um yeah do you want to say hi stitch you want to scratch yourself happy almost fourth of july yay hey, so i just got um lunch at chick-fil-a i picked it up i'm taking it to go God, there's a lot of traffic out. Let me show you. You see up ahead, all those cars, it's all backed up, and you can't even, like, make a right there. Ah, uh, Oxnard, man. So many people. Anyways, um, yeah, so I called my mom and asked what she wanted, and she said she'd like a cool ranch, or a cool chicken wrap. I don't know, something like that, and a milkshake. So I got her that wrap, which I've never heard of, because I always get the same thing. Plus, I don't go to Chick-fil-A very often. And then I got her a cookies and cream milkshake, so I can show you that. They put a cherry on top, how cute. Our food is down there, by the way. Um, and I got a soda for myself to drink, so I'm just going to wait till I get home to eat. I don't like to eat while I'm 
Thank you. All right, then. Hey there. Um, so I made it to my mom's house. It is so strange being here without Stitch, so I feel like I'm definitely missing something. Um, hey there. I am driving to my old neighbor's house. I'm friends with them. Um, so my mom used to rent a house um, here in town before she bought her current home. And um, I remember... Um, we used to dog sit for my neighbors. They have two little weenie dogs and a cat. And I haven't seen these neighbors in like a few years. We're Facebook friends, but it's not the same. You know, it's not the same as actually seeing them in person. So anyways, um, I remember they they left a comment one time saying, hey, when are you gonna come over? And I was like, maybe the next time I'm in town. So they're in town today and I'm in town. So um, yeah, I haven't been to this neighborhood in forever. It's where my mom used to live. Yeah, and I always loved watching their dogs and staying at their house. They had me uh, spend the night with their dogs because they're used to having someone to spend the night with. And they also have a pool and air conditioning. So it was always kind of like a luxurious little vacation. Oh, it's funny being back here. <laughs> it's been years. My mom bought her house in 2008. So that's when um, she moved down to this house. And I lived at this house for one year. Oh, there's some big movers here. I guess people are moving this weekend, July 4th weekend. Actually, that's the same weekend I moved into my old studio. Okay. Where is... That's my mom's old house. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hi, Ruby. And she's got back problems. Oh, right. Well, she had that the surgery. Time. No surgery. They said $10,000. I thought she already had surgery. No, she's had oh. so many shots. So many shots. Oh, poor babies. Hi, Autos. Oh, hi. Do you remember me? Who's the handsome boy? He, they did. I was surprised. I wasn't sure if they remembered me. He's his little chick. Well, once they know their he's friends, lost some, they know he's their lost friends. He's lost some teeth. Oh, he has. Well, he's still got a fair amount on the top. Yeah. Oh. You're a good like, boy. You're a good dog. boy. There, I am back home. I just got a little bit of footage of the dogs. Um, when I was over visiting my old neighbors, so I ended up staying there for over an hour just chatting with them. You know, sometimes you just have a lot to catch up on, so I talked to them. Um, Jim's retired, Kathleen's still working, and apparently all the houses, including the house we used to live in, a lot of them are rented out, and crazy people live there. Crazy, loud, rude people live there, so they told me all about that, and yeah, so we just caught up, and that was nice, and then of course, I got to see Ruby and um, Otto and then Corpy, their cat that's 16 years old. So I'm so glad all those animals are still alive and thriving, and although they have some health issues. Um, yeah, it was just good to see them because I used to used to puppy sit them, used to watch the dogs. Um, yeah, anyways, I'm warm. I was actually getting sweaty. I was just sitting in their backyard and... Um, just ended up getting kind of warm back there, even though I was in the shade. So I'm going to do some laundry, and then, I don't know, um, in a little bit, my parents, we need to figure out what we're going to do for dinner tonight. Like, if we are going to do sushi or pizza or what we want to do. But that's later on, because it's only the afternoon now. So. so we just finished eating our sushi. It's actually only 6 o'clock. I was hungry early. So I called in the order right after 5, went out to pick it up. Normally my mom picks it up, but um, she got a break today, and I picked it up. So yeah, we got, my mom and I always get hand-rolled Mercedes rolls, which are really good. They have like cream cheese and then some kind of fried, I think, crab. It's good and it's big. So I was full from that. We also get a California roll to share, but I didn't have any of it because I wasn't hungry. So we're going to save that for leftovers. And then my dad got a rainbow roll. So that's what we ate. And um, the last time I was home, my mom said, like, don't film me. So... Um, I'm trying to be respectful of that and not film her or like meals where she's there. So that's why I haven't been like filming like my lunch, my Chick-fil-A. I didn't show you that. I didn't show you the sushi. So I'll tell you about it and I'll tell you it was tasty. So now it's the evening. We're probably going to watch some Chopped. And I need to um, fold some of my laundry and stuff too because I've been doing a lot of laundry today. So have a good evening. Bye-bye. Hey there, good morning. It is Saturday and I'm at Target. I'm kind of in a cranky mood today. I didn't sleep well last night. 
I know I'm pretty worried about Stitch, you know, having my old neighbor watch him. Um, I just feel more comfortable when he's here with me, and I feel like a part of me is missing, like my leg is missing or something. I keep looking for him, and like, you know, he wasn't sleeping next to me last night, and I, I don't know, I just worry about him. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, should I head back today? Anyways, um, yeah, so I'm just not in a great mood today. I'm looking for doormats presently at Target. And this is the one that I have right now. It says welcome, it has a little bird. But this thing totally, like, it shreds, it falls apart. It looks really nasty now. I bought it, I think last August or September after I moved into my apartment. So I want to get a different type of doormat, one that isn't going to fall apart. And I'm wondering if this would be a better one. Um, because it looks like it doesn't have as much of that stuff. I don't know, I just want something that's going to like be more plasticky, I don't know, more durable. I don't want something that's going to look all nasty right away. So I don't know what to get. Anyways, yeah, I'm just not in the best mood today for not sleeping well. I'm worrying about Stitch and should I go back today? I don't want to deal with traffic and I don't want to disappoint my parents because my mom's planning to grill tonight and make my favorite peach pie that I asked for. So. I don't know, I just have stuff on my mind. Hey there, I am outdoors right now. So today I decided to stay at my mom's through through the weekend till tomorrow. And um, yeah, so we, we had barbecue for dinner. My mom made burgers and grilled corn on the cob. And um, she made a peach pie, which I already had some of earlier. Oh, there's a bug. But I think I'm going to have more peach pie and ice cream before I go to bed. Oh, there's all these bugs out near the light. Anyways, we can hear people, like, setting off fireworks. And I'm thinking I might be able to see some from my mom's backyard or maybe from the street. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm trying to see if I can sneak a peek of anything. You probably can't see me too well. But, um, man, all, all the bugs go to the, the, the lights. And the light probably lets you actually see me. I hear things, but I don't see them. Hey, good morning. Today is Sunday, and I am going to start, I'm starting to get ready to head back. I woke up at 7 today, which is kind of early. Usually on the weekends, I sleep until 8. But um, I just want to get a head start on traffic and get home to see Stitch sooner, because I really miss him. <laughs> so pathetic. I just miss him a lot. Um, yeah, so anyways, I'm just starting to get ready, pack up my stuff. Um, and then I'll head out, like, in the next hour or so, I think, and go back to Santa Barbara. I'm home! I'm home! So excited. Okay, so I'm going to go say hi to Stitch. I'm back home now. I've missed him so much. I've missed you so... Oh, Stitchy Poos! Oh my god, I missed you so much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. It was two nights without you. I melt. Give me a big hug. Oh, I want to have a big hug. I missed you so much. I did. I was a big weenie about it. And I was like, where's my snug bugs? Where's my snug bugs? I left you behind. Oh, that was my hands. All afternoon, lots of love. Because I missed you. Hey, so I went to Starbucks on my way back uh, for my mom's house, and I had a free drink. Because if you have that Starbucks card, like every 12 drinks, you get a free one. So I was like, I'm going to make it worth it. So I got a venti, which is the ginormous, huge size one. And um, I got the same drink I had the other day, which was a cinnamon dulce latte. And I added. Um, extra caramel drizzle and some of the mocha drizzle, which I've, I've never had the mocha drizzle. I did get the caramel once, but oh my gosh, like, it just makes the drink way too sweet, and I was like, Ugh. So I'm drinking it, because it was free, and I'm going to drink it, but ooh, I would not recommend adding caramel and mocha, whatever. I think normally they charge 60 cents for adding the drizzle, so I was like, it's free, I gotta add things. And then the cashier was funny. He said, do you want to add an extra shot of espresso? And because I said it was my free one, I said, no thanks. I think it comes with three shots already, so that's, that's plenty. Um, although I do need to get cleaning and put stuff away. This is everything. <laughs> it looks messy. I just brought it all inside, so, um, yeah, I'll show you what I got at Target, though, because I know I didn't show you that earlier. So um, I'll show you my Target stuff 
um, once I kind of get this more unpacked and get a wrap off things because it looks all messy. And I need to clean today. Yeah, I need to clean my apartment. So, yep, that's what I got to do today. Yeah, I thought I'd just show you real quickly what I got at Target um, because that, that's the last thing I need to put away. So, I got more kitty litter, just a big thing of tidy cat because um, I actually want to clean out his kitty litter, like just dump all the litter, bleach the cat box thing, you know, clean it really well. Airplane. And then um, just put all new litter in. So, yeah, so what I got at Target this time, let's see, I opened this up. Um, sometimes I get Lucky Charms. I'm actually more a fan of the Trader Joe's Strawberry Yo Yogurt O's that I buy. Um, so my mom actually got some for me at <laughs> Trader Joe's this morning before I left town, so I'll have that as well, um, plus, you know, the cereal. And then I got some of these Annie's fruit snacks, which my family all likes. You know, my niece likes them, my sister, my mom, all of us. And I just like to get the variety pack because it has, like, 12 of them. And then I've been all out of gum, so this one I just keep in my car. I put it in the little car, you know, the little drink holder next to me. And then this one I sometimes also keep in my car, which is strange, but it's what I like to do. I like to have this kind of packaging and that kind of packaging. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I do it. And then down here I've got some more dish detergent. I got the Dawn stuff with Olay. Um, it doesn't really matter if it has Olay in it because I always wear gloves when I wash my dishes. But it smelled good. It's the pomegranate splash scent, which I like, so I mostly bought it for the scent. And then I had to get more sponges. And then I got these Clorox wipes, which I just use at work to clean off my desk and any spills sometimes. So, um, yeah, I just buy those for work. And then I got more of this Honest Multi-Surface Cleaner, which I use as my bathroom spray and I'm getting low. And I have my new uh, mat. So I bought a new little... Um, welcome mat to keep outside my apartment because the one I bought last year when I moved into this unit has like really shredded so let me show you here this is my old mat and it um all the pieces just come off and it, it looks really gross and messy so this is my new welcome mat which I'm going to put out in a minute you go back inside mister go back inside <laughs> go back inside Hey there, um, I just wanted to share with you what my mom's peach pie looks like, or at least what it looks like here at my apartment. So my mom and I worked on the peach pie yesterday. Um, it was eight peaches, which I peeled and then she cut. And then you add one cup of sugar, a quarter cup of flour, and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. And you kind of mix it all together and then my mom just lets it sit so that the um, mixture can kind of absorb and stuff. And then, excuse me. Then you just put a pie crust on the bottom of, you know, a pie tin or what have you, and then another crust on the top. And then I don't know how long you bake it for because at that point I was gone, I was done, and my mom was taking over. So, um, I just know about peeling the peaches and adding those dry ingredients. So, it's an older recipe my mom had, um, yeah, from some magazine. She has these like really old timey recipes that are very good. Oh, this isn't going to look very appealing to you, but it looks great to me. Um, <laughs> so I wanted to bring two slices back with me, but they're kind of deformed now. Um, this, I guess, looks a little bit more together. Um, these are actually Tupperware pizza containers that my mom bought a while ago, so they're perfect if you have leftover pizza. So anyways, I just put two slices into these, and um, yeah, that's what I'm going to have later on this evening. I actually was thinking about having some last night after the fireworks, but then I didn't because I was full. I was full from the burger and the corn on the cob, so um, I didn't want to stuff myself with pie, but I did bring some back with me, so that is what I'm going to have later on this evening, along with this guy, my McConnell's vanilla bean ice cream, so... That's what I'll do. Oh, I have some old bananas. I need to make something with them. Banana chocolate chip bread, maybe. Anyways, um, yeah, so it's Sunday evening. I just am finding stuff to watch on TV. I was watching some Graceland um, on Netflix. So, back to another week of work. 
the weekend flew by. I swear it flew by. <laughs> I'm 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 not ready to head back, but oh well. Gotta go back to work bright and early tomorrow morning. So I hope you had a good weekend. Happy and safe Fourth of July. Yeah, thank you for watching. Bye bye.